Uh, welcome back to this video. Um, I didn't have much time. I had was to break for a little bit um, to make to show you how to insert the navigation bar in Dreamweaver. So I have to do a complete separate tutorial and how to do that. But today I'm going to show you. Right now I'm going to show you how to get that out of Fireworks into your folder. I already show you how to get into the folder, but I'm, I have to save this one because I accidentally delete the one that we created first. So I'm going to have to get this one out in a folder and then go into Gmiver and show you how to actually make that work. So here goes. You want to go to File, Export. I got a, uh, I'm going to go to my library here, my documents. And inside my folder, Webmaster folder, I have it inside here, I think. Let's see if I'm correct or not. Yes, here it is. And inside here, we're just going to name this navbar. Okay, uh, lower cases, navbar, and I'm going to click save. Also, when you exit, it's going to ask you if you want to save it. You know, if you plan to go back and edit this later, I would definitely say yes, save it, because those files that you export, it's going to be harder to save. What this does, it groups everything just as you see it right here in one simple long navigation bar. When you go back, it still have all your states that you created before, but you can just edit it and re-export it again. So if you want to edit your thing again, I recommend saving this. So for me, I'm just going to hit no, but I just want to tell you guys that you might want to do that. Okay. Now let's get over here into Dreamweaver. I'm just going to put this in a site I already have that I'm already trying to work on. Let's put it that way. And I'm just going to put it on one of my lease. Oops, is that a page? No, I don't want to use that page. Um, let's just put it on my index page. Who cares? I can go back and refix it later. So this is a page I'm creating. So to get us into Dreamweaver, you want to insert a uh, div tag. So go here, insert div tag. For me, oops, why did I do tables? Div tag, this one right here. <laughs> here we go. So I want to go for me because I want to put it above my entire site. I don't want to mess with my site. So I want to put it in above my entire site. So I'm going to do before tag. If you want it to go after a div tag, then you want to go after tag. I'm going to name this ID test 001 no whatever I can name whatever and I want it to go before my header tag so I'm gonna click OK so you see it goes to the top of my site right here now I want to make this the same width as a navigation bar so you want to go down here to your properties new CSS and oops what did I name that again test I think it was yeah so I'm gonna go back here and name this now T E S T no first number sign T E S T 001. I think that's what I name it. Click OK. I'm going to do my box at 900 because I know what navigation bar that we make was 900. And the height of the navigation bar we make was 36, but I'm going to do this 38 just for the heck of it. And uncheck right margin. And right, same for all I mean. Uncheck same for all. Right should be auto. Left should be auto, and what that's going to do, it's going to center it, click apply, click OK. As you can see here, it's centered inside our page. Delete. Now, inside here, when you're inside this, you want to go up here to, you might have a picture here. Click on this to hold it down and go to insert fireworks HTML. Now, we're going to browse to where we create that, uh, where we save that navigation button, which I think I know it's in my test folder. And you want to search for the bar that has any any bar that any file that has a browser logo on it, whether in an Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever browser is your default browser, it should have the logo on it. So click on that one. That's the one you want. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And there we go. It edit it inserts it into your uh, page, and I click on it to I just click outside to get away from this. So I'm gonna save this. And then pre hit F12 to preview it in my browser. And now it's inside my browser. Uh, if you're using Internet Explorer, you have to go here and click Allow Block Content. I'm just going to click Yes. And now then if you go on your button, as you can see the buttons we created here, if you click on them, it goes to your down state. But 
let's go over to our download because that's the one we want downloads and now if we go like that and roll over we see our rollover state which is inserted into our website if you go down to four it creates a sub flyout menu for you guys so that's how you insert it into dreamweaver that wasn't really hard at all it was really simple and pretty easy to do if you get used to it now i'm just going to go back here and pretty much undid what i just did you know i don't want anything here so i just undid what i just did from my site so that's how you insert it into Dreamweaver. And thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know, be nice. You know, I made some videos. So just give me a little bit of love. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.